right, so we're here in Gardner, Kansas. We're gonna be putting in a one acre pond here. The property's about 30 acres big. Um, what they're gonna be doing is building their home over here to my right. Uh, they're gonna be putting the pond behind me. And then also they're gonna be putting up a shop over there, driveway and a whole bunch of other stuff out here. Right So today our guys got started on the core trench for this pond. Basically the core trench is that main piece below the dam and that goes through the middle of the dam that seals the entire pond and stops any water from leaking through the dam or below the dam. The core trench is often not installed on ponds. It's one, one thing that's overlooked very often and it's a very crucial part to ensuring the pond holds water, especially throughout the summer. Um, basically the core trench, what it's gonna consist of is about a nine foot wide trench that goes about four feet deep or until you get, you know, basically three feet into clay. Um, and then we're gonna pack brand new, nice, good clay back in there that has no rocks, no roots, no nothing, no impurities in it. And we're gonna compact the crap out of it to ensure the pond doesn't leak. After the core trench is in, we're basically gonna pack all the way up to the surface of the ground, just basically ground level. Then we're gonna start building our dam and pulling out the dirt out of the pond. At this point, since all the topsoil is stripped off the pond, that's gonna be all clay. So all, all that clay we pull out is gonna go toward building the dam. That way we're getting a little bit of depth from, from digging out the clay. And we're also gonna, gonna get some depth from building up the dam. So our team is installing the overflow system for this pond today. Basically what the overflow system is gonna do is control the water level of the pond and make sure it never gets too high. This 18 inch pipe that's gonna run through the bottom of the pond and then it's gonna turn, turn it 90 degrees and go straight up to the, the, the top of the pond. Now what I have over here is an anti-seed cone. So at this point in the video, the wind was absolutely terrible and you couldn't hear anything I was saying. So let me kind of revise. Right here, we're looking at the anti-seep collar. As you can see, there's a tear. Um, this anti-seep collar, it's kind of like a rubber polyester type of material. And basically, it hugs our overflow pipe. Um, the anti-seep collars, they're designed to fit really tight around those pipes and make sure no water seeps past the pipe, hence the name anti-seep collar. We put two of these in the pond dam, one before the core trench, one after the core trench. And again, the whole point is just to ensure no water seeps through. And it's just a cheap insurance, really. The way we size our pipes completely depends on how much water comes into the pond. You know, you might be thinking, how big of an overflow do I need? Basically, we looked at how much watershed we'll get under normal rain events, and that's how we came up with this size overflow pipe. Now, the overflow pipe, it's not going to withstand all rains. If we get an absolutely torrential downpour, it's not going to support that. For that, we have an emergency overflow which will prevent water from going over the dam at any point at once. It has a very controlled flow that way, and it prevents the dam from failing. Give you a good time
So since the last time you saw this project, we had just started scraping for the depth of the pond, which is about five foot all the way around. And now today we are finishing up the final shape of the pond. And then here in the near distant future, we will be finishing the island part of this pond and that will be a future project. When we started scraping for the depth of the pond, we started to hit very, very solid clay. Now, the thing about solid clay is very good for holding water. Now, the downsides of hitting solid clay is that you run the possibility of running into rock. Now, fortunately, up until this point, we haven't hit any rock. So the next part that we will be completing on this project is we will be excavating a 10 to 12 foot deep trench through the middle of the pond all the way through which in eastern Kansas, it is recommended to have at least a quarter of the pond be at the depth of 10 to 12 feet for healthy ecosystem a stock pond for fish to survive in. So in the future with this project, we will be downsizing the island just a smudge and we'll be lining the whole thing with lines, limestone blocks. Mm -hmm. 